stand muscles MMT, the patient position, like this high sitting, the therapist position towards the test side. Okay? So first movement, let us see MCP flexion. MCP flexion. This is the MCP joint. There are four MCP joints here. One, two, three and four. So as we are doing MCP flexion, the forearm should be supination. The forearm should be supine. Wrist is in neutral position. No, one, two, three, four. This one is like a... MCP, better carpophalangeal joint. Right, yeah, this is one. Two, yeah, yeah, five. I'm sorry. This is metacarpophalangeal joint. So here also there is a joint. This is the metacarpophalangeal joint. This is for thumb. As, as per anatomy, one, two, three, four, five only. Okay, good. So MCP flexion. So this MCP flexion is done by lumbricals and the interosseal. Range of motion 0 to 90 degree. 0 to 90 degree. So it is better to do always separate. It is better to do always separate finger. It is not together. Right? So stabilize the wrist. Now ask the patient to stabilize the other finger. Ask the patient to bend like this. Okay? Right. Okay. Grade 3 now. Please bend like this. Bend. Yes, okay. Now grade 4, MCP flexion grade 4. Give resistance in the proximal phalanx. So stabilize the other fingers, right? And do grade 4. And we know grade 4, yeah. full range of motion, minim, against gravity movement, minimal resistance. So give resistance here, right? Proximal phalanx. Here. Joint or in joint? Not joint, yeah. uh, uh, below the joint, yes. right? Please bend, 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 bend. Now grade 5, full range of motion. Against gravity, maximal resistance. Maximal resistance, again you have to use only one finger. Please bend, 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 bend. This is MCP flexion, grade 3, 4 and 5. Grade 2. So keep from supine to neutral position, mid prone position. Then stabilize the other fingers. Stabilize the other fingers. Then ask the patient to bend like this. Okay, please bend. Yes, stabilize the MCP joint. Yeah. Um, this one, uh, metacarpal bone. Yeah. Stabilize the metacarpal yeah. bone, then patient will do MCP flexion. Please do. This is grade 2. Grade 1, again, supine position, right? This is lumbricals we have to palpate. Lumbricals we have to palpate here. Lumbricals 1, lumbricals 2. Sorry, here lumbricals 1. This side is lumbrical 1, lumbrical 2, lumbrical 3, lumbrical 4. So you can palpate either here here okay this is flexion of mcp joint range of motion 0 to 90 degree moving into extension of mcp joint extension right extension of mcp joint sup supplied by or produced by extensor digitorum extensor indices both are supplied by radial nerve both are supplied by radial nerve range of motion 0 to 20 0 to 20 mm -hmm. because just up from here up yes that's all 0 to 20 degree that is hyper extension. Okay. So to perform this again, other fingers keep in flexed position, right? So forearm in pronation, patient sitting same, therapist standing also same. Then ask the patient to do up. Please take up. This is grade three. Grade four. Again, here give resistance in the proximal phalanx. Here, minimal resistance. Grade five, maximal resistance. Again, here. Up, 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 come up. This is grade five. Grade three. Sir, so grade 2, keep again mid prone position, right? Stabilize the other fingers, ask the patient, keep the finger in flexed position, okay. then ask the patient to do X straight. Please straight your finger, straight. This finger, yes, straight, straight, come up, good. This is grade 2, grade 1, here, right? The muscles are extensor digitorum, we have to touch here, 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 here. In not, joint, not here, not in here. Joints. Not here. Or between. Joint is here. Jo joint is yes. here. So you can touch on the joint. Because this muscle is crossing the joint and inserting to the yes. proximal phalanx. So you can touch the joint. Here, 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 here. Extensor digitorum and extensor indices. So, so extensor digitorum will go to four joints. Indices will go to only index finger. Indices will go to only index finger. Okay. So now come to PAP joint. Flexor interphalangeal joint flexor interphalangeal joint here this is the joint one 
two, three, four, PAP joint. Okay, right. here. So whenever you want to test, the other fingers should be stabilized. Others should be stabilized with the wrist. So now grade three, full range of motion against gravity movement, no resistance. Right. So now stabilize the proximal phalanx. Stabilize the proximal phalanx here. Yes. Stabilize. Then ask the patient to bend this joint. Please bend towards you. Yes, this is PAP flexion. Grade? Three. Grade 3. Very good. Next, grade 4. Full range of motion against gravity, minimal resistance. So here, stabilize the proximal phalanx. Stabilize the proximal phalanx. Use another hand finger to give resistance here. Give resistance here. Where? In the middle phalanx. Yes. Because we are testing PAP. Please bend, 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 yes, like this. Again bend, 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 like this. Now grade 5, full range of motion against gravity, maximal resistance. Please bend, 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 yeah, like this. This is grade 5. Grade 2, keep like this. Mid prone position, stabilize the proximal phalanx. Stabilize the proximal phalanx, ask the patient to bend like this. Okay, please bend, yes, this is grade Two, grade one, again keep supine position, stabilize the other finger and palpate flexor digitorum superficialis. Flexor digitorum superficialis here in the proximal phalanx. In the proximal phalanx. So flexor digitorum superficialis, you have to you have to palpate here. Okay. Now going into extension. Which extension? PAP extension. PAP extension. Good. Deeply uh, Iraq. Come here. Sit here. Thank you. So now, PAP extension. So again, other fingers, please keep in flexed position like this. Flexed position like this. Then only the testing finger keep out. Right? So stabilize the, right? Stabilize the, the proximal finger. Proximal phalanx. Yes. Okay. Then ask the keep like this. Okay. Bend like okay. this. Okay. Please state your finger. State. Yes. This is PAP extension. Grade three. Now grade four. Stabilize the finger. Stabilize the proximal phalanx yes. and give resistance middle phalanx dorsal aspect. Here dorsal. Please up up up. Grade four. Grade five. Full maximal resistance. Here up up. Come on. Good good. This is grade five. Grade two. Keep mid prone position. Again, everything is same, but keep the finger in flexed position. MPAP joint in flexed position. Ask the patient straight. Yes, this is grade two PAP extension. And grade one palpation. You have to keep like this again, right? You have to palpate here. Which muscles? Lumbricals. You have to palpate lumbricals inside. Okay, palpation. Now come to DAP flexion. DAP. Flexion. So DIP flexion is done by flexor digitorum profundus, right? So this is the so patient position is sitting and forearm in supine. So flex all the fingers, stabilize the testing finger where in the middle phalanx. So here, please bend your finger like this. This is zero to eighty degree. DIP zero to eighty, 80 degree. degree. Okay, bend like bend. This is grade three. Grade four, give resistance here. Bend, bend, bend. Yes. Grade 5, maximal resistance. Okay. Next, grade 2, again, mid prone position, stabilize the middle phalanx, ask the you know, patient to do the flexion. Yes. Grade 1, supine position again. So here, palpate here, the middle phalanx. Palpate the middle for the profundus. Superficial is palpate here. Profundus, palpate here. Okay. This is the flexion of DIP. So last action, extension of D, not last, uh, uh, extension of DAP, again, okay, you, so here, all other fingers into flexion, right, now, stabilize the, which, middle phalanx, so ask, keep the finger in flexion, from there, take up, yes, this is grade 3, grade 4, give resistance here, yeah, grade 5, again, maximum resistance, then, grade 2, right, here, stabilize the middle phalanx, from flex to position to, please, state, yes, make it straight, yes, grade 2, grade 1, right, Again, palpate lumbricals because both extension, PAP extension, DAP extension done by lumbricals. So finished. Now moving into finger abduction. Finger abduction. 
So finger like abduction done by dorsal interosseous. Dorsal interosseous. Yes. So abduction. So so patient position like this sitting, therapist position standing, testing side, forearm in prone position, forearm in prone prone pronation pronation, wrist is neutral, testing side, fingers MCP extension, right? Now abduction, the fingers should be kept adduct adducted position like this. Okay. So now please do like this up. Yes, this is grade three. Then grade four, minimal resistance. Where? In the here. It is wrong. If you keep here wrong. If you keep here wrong, you have to give keep here. Please do update. Not in away. joint this. Not joint. Yeah. Phalanx. Yeah. Right? You have to do like this away. Okay. Both two fingers. Yes, very good. This is grade four. Grade five, more. Yes, that's all. Grade three, four and five. There is no grade two. There is no grade two. Then grade one, you have to palpate here. Intraceous. Again here only. This one. Yes. This is the intraceous. Now come to adduction. Again. Patient position is same. Both two, two, grade two. Grade two not there. No. Yeah, three, four, five, and one. Okay. There is no two. Okay. For abduction and adduction. Finger abduction, adduction, there is no two. Grade two. We have to do only grade three, grade four, grade five, then one. grade one. Okay, now come to adduction. Finger adduction. So same, everything is same position. Right? We accept the finger should be should be abducted position from here. So grade 3, please you have to bring to close together. Yes, this is grade 3. Grade 4, give resistance here. Yes. Grade 5, yes, give. More, more, more. Come on, come on, come on. This is 4. 2 not there, 1, again palpate. This is for adduction. Huh? This is adduction. Adduction. Okay? Finished.